And now to a live pinpoint Doppler 12 weather alert. Yet another day of excessive heat, this time coming with some pretty unhealthy air. And we have some pinpoint weather team developments right now. Let's go to meteorologist Michelle Muscatello for the latest future cast. Michelle? Well, Danielle, the temperatures have already climbed into the lower 90s at this noontime. We're headed up into the mid and possibly even a few spots into the upper 90s today. In fact, it's 93 in Providence, 90 in Newport, 90 in Westerly, and about 93 New Bedford. Add in the humidity, feels like 100 degrees in Providence, even Westerly in Newport with a heat index of 100, 103 what it feels like right now, New Bedford. So we are under the excessive heat warning now through 7 o'clock for that heat index reaching a value as high as 105 this afternoon for those areas shaded in red. And we do have an air quality alert that continues into this evening for those high ground level ozone concentrations, which means that Ripta rides are free. We're going to work our way up to about 96 by 4 o'clock this afternoon, 86 still at 8 o'clock in the evening. And there may be an isolated thunderstorm in there. I'm going to be talking more about that Plus, is it possible we could match or top the temperatures again tomorrow that we're seeing today? I'll have the very latest in my future cast in just a few minutes. All right, Michelle, thank you. And it is, as we mentioned, an air quality alert day today. So most rip to bus routes are free. And that is, of course, to encourage commuters to leave the car at home because of a high level of particle pollution or ozone in the air. And count on Eyewitness News and the live Pinpoint Doppler 12 weather team to get you through this extended hot weather. We have several vital resources online at WPRI.com, including a list of cooling centers and your latest future cast anytime. Now, here's meteorologist Michelle Muscatello with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 future cast. All right, well, it is a hot one again for today. A little shift in the wind from yesterday has allowed those temperatures to climb back up into the 90s for most areas. Even some of our coastal locations right now are at 90. Newport, Westerly at 90. 88 at Ninigret, New Bedford's at 93, Smithfield 90, Coventry 92 degrees right now. So we are on track still at this noontime to see the hottest air yet with this stretch of very hot weather and probably one of the hottest, if not the hottest day of 2013 so far at T of Green Airport. And again, it's our winds from the southwest pushing our temperatures up until at least the mid 90s and we may see some upper 90s. Though excessive heat warning continues until 7 o'clock this evening, I would be very surprised if we didn't have another excessive of heat watcher warning for tomorrow as well. You combine the temperature and the humidity today and tomorrow gives us that feel like temperature. The heat index up to 105 degrees and the thunderstorm chances they're low again today and tomorrow. We may see an isolated storm. Much better chance on Saturday. That's as a cold front finally makes its way into southeastern New England. But the problem is as it comes in it may cause some severe weather. We don't have any severe weather out there right now in terms of storms. Certainly plenty of heat. Providence temperature at 100 degrees. The heat uh, at 93 rather the heat index makes it feel like 100 and you can see this light variable wind right now. The heat index in New Bedford's up to 103. It feels like 100 even in Westerly 97 in Smithfield. Boston's a little bit cooler. They're getting a more of an easterly wind in Boston. Dew point temperature though generally in the low and even some mid 70s and our scale here puts that up in the oppressive category. There's not going to be any relief from the humidity, the moisture in the atmosphere through Saturday. Now that dew point temperature will drop into the low 60s by Sunday afternoon. So we will get back down to more comfortable air. Plan on heading to the beaches the rest of this afternoon. Hazy, hot and humid about 89 at the shore this afternoon. Water temperature in the middle 70s may get a little bit of a sea breeze this afternoon at the beaches. Waves 1 to 2 feet, 430 in the afternoon is your high tide. For this afternoon, inland making our way up to 96. Isolated thunderstorm. Keep an eye out for it late afternoon and evening down to only the mid-70s tonight and then tomorrow's high back up into the mid-90s. Here's the future cast. This is at 3 o'clock this afternoon. So we do have that risk of just an isolated a downpour or thunderstorm. It's mostly into the early evening hours and then just some patchy fog developing by dawn tomorrow morning. That fog expected to thin out and tomorrow Get on tap to have another hot day. It'll be a little breezier tomorrow. Southwest winds at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Seven day future cast mid 90s again next couple of days. Beaches tomorrow around 87 degrees with hazy sun. The water temperatures in the mid 70s now at the shore. Very mild water Saturday. 
90 degrees, so we've got a decent shot of thunderstorms by the end of the day on Saturday, and we are concerned about severe weather. The Storm Prediction Center out in Norman, Oklahoma, has already placed our area under a slight risk for severe storms. Damaging winds, hail, the big concern, but also some torrential downpours with any storms that form. Timing-wise, looking mostly like mid to late afternoon hours through the evening. So after 3 o'clock Sunday, we may wake up to a shower, but then the humidity drops, the skies clear, those temperatures much more reasonable if you have outdoor chores to do. A little yard work, 84 for the high on Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, looking at low 80s and still that uh, fairly comfortable humidity level. So a few more days to go, Danielle, in this stretch of extreme weather. All right. Now we are expecting 96 degrees for a high. We've had 94. We've had 95 degree heat mm -hmm. already, so 96 would be the hottest of 2013. We could do it again tomorrow. The heat index again into the triple digits feels around 100 to 105. For your Saturday, still near 90. Thunderstorms late in the day and night, and then starting to bring down the humidity and temperatures for the second half of the weekend. All right, three more days of it. Thanks, Michelle, and that's going to do it for us here on Eyewitness News at Noon. Have a great afternoon, everyone. We'll see you tonight at 5.